in a lot of ways, I'm a lot like my dad. I'm picky. I usually think I'm right. And I try to tell myself what it is I'm supposed to do or not do all the time. For more years than I care to count, I've been doing just that as the calendar switches from one year to the next. The general population calls it a New Year's resolution. It usually takes the format of a stern should or should not in order to correct some habit I've observed as not serving me well. I should exercise at least five days a week. I should not eat bread, ever. I should make my bed every morning. I should not drink more than one scotch per evening. You get the idea. You've probably done that yourself. And In doing that, I can hear my own father wagging a finger at me and saying my own words. You know what? I'm afraid I rarely listen to him either. That's why these things never really work for me. I don't take orders very well. Not from my dad, and quite amusingly, not even from myself. What I have learned over my decades is that having a vivid picture in my brain about what I want, or how I want it to look, does much more for me than ordering myself to, for example, give up bread. What do I mean by that? At least every other resolution I've made in the past three to four decades has been about not eating so much of this or that, and measuring the success or failure by looking through my toes. The focus was on the should or the should not, not the visualization of the resulting aspiration, what it is I really wanted. Then I just started to picture what my life would look like if I weighed 40 pounds less. That's what I really wanted. I didn't want to not eat bread. I love bread. But I did want to weigh 40 pounds less for a lot of very logical reasons. Improved health, longevity, less pounding on my knees, General appearance, to name a few. Having worn size 46 jackets for the past 30 years, I pictured myself buying 42s. Size 40 slacks, down to size 36. I knew one way to do this was to give up extraneous carbohydrates. Yeah, breads. And my brain pretty much took care of the rest of that. I didn't have to tell myself not to eat bread. My brain handled that without ordering me around. It wasn't even much of a struggle. I was not in need of wagging my finger at myself and telling myself that I should and should not consume this or that. I just imagined what it was going to look like and feel like. Bottom line, 10 months later, not very fast, size 40 jackets and size 34 slacks. I'm a huge fan of visualization and a practitioner. So New Year's resolution advice? If you've struggled before, you might want to try not making any. Instead, paint that picture of the why you would ever try to order yourself to do or not do something. Keep that picture in your head. Let your brain do the hard lifting. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And feel free to share that picture with me anytime. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.